Hello, this is Sheshachalam from Ashwagat, Mysore. So today we are seeing the second part of the Dharidra Yoga. There are many parts. Actually, uh, there are around uh, 10 to 15 points uh, which has been actually given in detail in the Brihat Parashara Hora Shastra. So the first one was involving the 12th Lord, the Ascendant and the Marrakesh, that is the uh, second and the seventh lord. So today, here the Daridri Yoga involves the Rogasthana Adipati. Who is Rogasthana Adipati? You know, the sixth lord can be called also as Ripusthana Adipati or Rinusthana Adipati, but Rogasthana Adipati because it gives a lot of diseases. So that's why it is more uh, you know prevalent to call it as Rogasthana Adipati. So the points here to be noted for this particular yoga of Daridra. Daridra means the yoga which can drive a person into poverty, into bankruptcy, into such a position that he feels miserably low. So ascendant lord in the sixth house. I have just taken a chart and I have taken an arbitrary lagna. For all the lagnas it is applicable in one way or the other. There might be some, uh, you know, confusions, which I will uh, take it up while I do this. But those confusions, I will exclusively make videos and solve them. Even for the first Daridra Yoga, where it was the 12th Lord in the Ascendant. So, people started asking what for Kumbha. For Kumbha Langa, the Lagna, the 12th Lord becomes... Uh, uh, Saturn and Saturn sitting in the ascendant will give Sasa Yoga. Obviously, so these are all exceptions to the rules. For So, we should not always uh, think about the exceptions. Now, we are studying astrology. Let us study it first. You know, it's as good as a, uh, you know, a small child in the nursery telling his teacher that we can write A in a different form, no ma'am. You don't have to teach me only this. Then the ma'am will tell, first you study this. Then you practice this. After that, we will go for cursive writing. And then we will see the other ways of writing, you know, calligraphy and all those things will come afterwards. Child, please do this. So she will patiently tell, you know, the same way I am also requesting that please learn first. Question afterwards. So... Ascendant Lord in the sixth house. I am teaching as I am your personal professor. So, Ascendant Lord in the sixth house. So, here I have just taken the Ascendant of Gemini. So, Ascendant Lord Mercury goes to the sixth house. Sixth Lord in the Ascendant. Sixth Lord in the Ascendant. Parivartana Yoga. People keep asking. Sir, make class on Parivartana Yoga. Just tell us whether it is going to be good, bad, ugly. Let us see that. You know, good, bad, ugly, clientist movie. We will see how, whether it is applicable today. So, Ascendant Lord in the 6th house and 6th Lord in the Ascendant. There is a Parivartana, no doubt. This, is a, this gives you good things also. Don't think that I, Daridra Yoga means that uh, from the day one, the person goes through Daridra, nothing like that. If a person has to fall, he has to climb, right? So it will allow him to climb. You need to be cautious that you should not fall. This is where it hits. Very difficult to analyze that particular part. The second lord or the seventh lord should have an association with the sixth lord either through aspect or conjunction. So, why the second lord and the seventh lord? Because it is a Marakadipati or we call it as a Marakesh. The one who finishes off projects in the midway, drops things. It is not a hurdle. It cuts. So, that is why it is called as a Maraka or a Marakesh. Here, the seventh lord is the Maraka and also for Maraka, uh, when associated with the sixth lord, it can be for business failures. The second lord is a Maraka and also a Dhanasthana Adipati. So, what is Dhanasthana? 
means the lord of the house of wealth the lord of the house of wealth so here dhanasthana adhipati is only one that is only there you know some places the second and the seventh will be uh, the same planet like for example if i take up uh, this particular lagna the second lord is venus seventh lord is venus okay so i am not going to this lagna now i have taken up some other lagna because there should not be confusion so these are exceptions i will come to that later so here the second lord is moon so moon has only one aspect that is the seventh aspect so either it should be positive here or along with mangal mangal means mars so once you see that combination you will tell chandra mangala yoga what a great combination was this is for accumulation of wealth through business through extraordinary entrepreneurship good correct i'm not telling nothing wrong there that's a beautiful yoga but you can also see that along with this chandra mangala yoga you have the lagna adipati sitting in the sixth house so this particular combination can make the person in some time in his life you have to check the event depending on the dasha bhukti the strength of the lagna adipati and the strength of the uh, other planets the aspect of other planets and all these come into picture the event when it might happen whether he will go through a pitfall we need to see that so the causes are roga diseases can put a person through go make a person go through poverty and bankruptcy suddenly go through losses ripu enmity people who want to pull you down they are always ready to pull you down then we have rinu that is loans you unnecessarily taking too much of loan and you are not having the capacity to repay it will also pull you down so these are the causes in this particular daridra yoga that you get locked up into such a situation that you feel that there is no hope so moon either here or along with the sixth lord so there is another maraka here which i will take up now is jupiter why it is this seventh lord seventh lord is jupiter the second lord is moon in this case so we have jupiter can be placed here because it has the seventh aspect it can be placed here because it has the ninth aspect and it can be placed here because it has the fifth aspect special aspects of jupiter and also it can be conjunct so we have four placements for jupiter and if this is the case that any one of the placement jupiter is placed and mercury is here and mars there very clearly two planets involving finance one is for regular cash flow current financial you know transactions this is for a larger picture you know the economy if these two are there with the aggressive mars sitting in the ascendant you might also end up suddenly going through losses in stock market stock market i am seeing i am getting a lot of calls where you know young fellows young it professionals they think that they can suddenly become uh, you know one in 100 in the world and they try to put their money there and they lose it the next day morning they are like gone it's gone so when it is not to do don't do so do not unnecessarily risk putting your you know hard earnings and savings into virtual market where it can simply you know just go away like smoke so this is one of the daridra yogas and the earlier one was with moon that was also a daridra yoga so daridra yoga means that there is a risk 
that the person can suddenly fall from being a rich businessman to suddenly standing in queue in a refugee camp. So that I will come to another Daridra Yoga. This Daridra Yoga is because of his own karma. Excess loans. Uh, excess loans. Who asked him to make loans? He could have lived a simple life, but he wants to grow, right? He wants to have a big expansion of his business. He did not want to be a simple businessman with a 10 by 20 shop in a small gully. He wanted to have a huge showroom in the main road. So what he thought is he met his friends uh, in an evening, uh, you know, over a small drink and they gave him an advice. The advice is not wrong, but he took it up very enthusiastically. He took 10 times the loan what he could. He thought that he, I'm going through profit. Today I am doing well, so I can repay. The calculation goes wrong. So he loses his original property and he is not able to retain the new one. And now where is he? Gone. So this is also because of his own desirous mistake. The second one is enemies. This also happens. You know, people will pull you down from your job if you unnecessarily make enemies. Do not talk when it is not required. Roga. This is for a generalistic perspective because this was only for this particular lagna. There are many other things here. So, Roga. This is also self-made. You know, it's our own karma. We live sattvic food habits, that is good food habits, uh, then you will not get rogas. But thing is that we invite them. On a long run, we keep uh, doing what is not good for our body. And one day the body will tell that, hey, enough man, I am shutting down, uh, you know, the sanitation, I will sh shut down uh, uh, circulation, I will shut down, you know, the body clock, the liver. So it will shut down, it will close its shop because it's done, done with your uh, atrocities, you are uh, unnecessarily giving it too much pressure. The kidney will tell, I'll sleep from today. Who will work if the kidney sleeps? The dialysis machine will work and somebody else will become rich. Why do you want to make somebody else rich and you go into Daridra? Don't go into Daridra, practice simple living and you will be well off. So, there is an exemption here, which I will discuss later, but I will tell you what the exception is. For this Lagna, that is Scorpio, the sixth lord is the Lagna lord. And when Lagna lord is sitting in the uh, ascendant, and our ascendant lord going to the sixth house, this does not apply. Same thing for Vrishabha Lagna. Lagna lord going to the sixth house, or sixth lord going to the ascendant. It does not apply. But not that it does not apply at all. It will apply to a larger extent. It gets nullified. So that's the point. So Also yeah. the impact which will be more. The second lot or the seventh lot. You need to see that because the dual lordship of a planet is extremely important when it becomes a maraka. It's not that you will always have maraka. You know, one or the other Maraka will have two houses. Because if uh, for this Lagna, you have only second lord as a Maraka here. If for, uh, particularly for Karkata Lagna, you have sun as a Maraka. But the other Maraka is there, no? So Saturn for Kark Lagna. It will have two houses, the eighth house. Very important. So the dual lordship, it means that the planet shares 50% of this and 50% of that. You cannot tell that, oh, I have a yoga karaka, my ninth lord is great. But your ninth lord can also be another trik sthana adipati. Trik means a bad house. That is for so, you A's. should know, well, particularly for this lord, for this house. Particularly, the ninth lord is Jupiter. You will be, wow, great, happy. You have this ascendant, you have Jupiter here. You will feel that I have achieved everything, man. Ninth lord in the ascendant, exalted. Sixth Lord in the Ascendant. I have a lot of charts. I have already presented one chart. The person is going through kidney failure. Two times he has got his kidney 
you know re replaced that is the new kidney has been put in and he is still living but you know, if you simply imagine the amount he has spent to live till date it's as good as running 10 families what else is it so please try to understand don't simply think that uh, uh, you know you have ninth lord here ninth lord here you have fourth lord with uh, ninth lord you will do this yes you will do the other part also has to be understood that is the dual lordship of that particular lord so thank you very much for today's class